Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, thank you so much for checking me out. I am the Opinionated Horsewoman, and today I thought we would discuss my nighttime uh, facial cleansing routine. Um, talked about it in other videos, what I do um, before I go to bed, how I remove my makeup, the products that I use and recommend, the moisturizers that I, I use, um, and a few reasons why I use them. So the first thing that I do um, is I remove my makeup. Now I, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I don't wear um, foundation. I don't wear highlighters. Um, I don't have primers on my face, but I do wear some eyeliner and some eyeshadow. Um, every now and then I'll wear mascara. I actually don't wear it all that often because um, I have found that I develop allergies when I am using mascara. So one of the reasons why I no longer use a whole lot of cosmetics on my face is because I um, I started developing some allergic reactions to them. Excuse me, my nose itches. Um, I was, I, I believe I was developing some contact dermatitis and my thoughts are that it was probably due to the fragrances in the cosmetics um, as well as just some of the other ingredients in there. So I was developing rosacea. I've had on again and off again problems with eczema. Um, sometimes it was causing some um, irritation, acne. So I just made the conscious decision to get rid of a lot of that, um, try to give my face a break. Um, so I don't, I don't use a lot of that anymore unless it's for a special occasion. What I do put on my face every day uh, is hyaluronic acid serum. I cover it with a moisturizer. Um, I al always using a sunscreen, depending on whether or not I'm gonna be outside a lot or if I'm just at work and mostly inside. Um, I may use a chemical sunscreen, but if I'm outside, I'm probably gonna be using a mineral sunscreen, which I actually have one here. and. They're very thick. Um, I'll swatch this one. They're very thick um, because it's usually something like titanium oxide or uh, zinc. This one's zinc oxide. So as you can see, it's quite thick. It definitely has a cast to it. So I don't tend to wear this if I'm gonna be at work because it does leave quite a cast. Um, and if I were to use this, I would probably put a foundation over it so I didn't have quite that kind of ghosty white look to it. So um, again, I don't, I don't like doing that. So I will use a chemical sunscreen during the work week when I'm at work because those don't leave that, that hue. Um, but on the weekends, I definitely use a, um, a thicker sunscreen and, and a uh, mineral-based sunscreen. So Depending on whether or not I am removing makeup and chemical sunscreen, or I am just removing a very thick layer of mineral sunscreen, it depends um, on what, how I cleanse. So first I'm gonna go through how I remove makeup in, in a, a light um, SPF that's a chemical. Um, the first thing I use, and this depends on whether I'm at home or if I'm traveling. So if I'm at home, I use a liquid makeup remover with a, just a cotton ball. And this is the uh, Walmart dupe of the Neutrogena oil-free makeup remover. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I just, I used to use a uh, Neutrogena and this is just a little bit cheaper and it works just as well. So this is what I currently have. Um, picked it up last time I was at or a few trips ago when I was at Walmart. And this works great. I just really make sure, I'm very careful to make sure I get everything off. Um, get all the eyeliner from the bottom and the top that's right on that lash line, as well as the rest of my makeup. So this works really well for me. Um, I haven't had any issues with it. Now when I'm traveling, if I don't wanna take um, liquids because taking the liquids to an airport is a little difficult, I will use the makeup wipes, um, and I have two brands here. These are the Neutrogena makeup wipes. They work very well. This is the 25 pack, so there's 25 wipes in here. 
And then this is the Equate version, and this is just more of a travel size. There's only 10 towelettes in here. And this is just the Walmart dupe of the Neutrogena. So um, this is what I will take with me when I travel, just to avoid taking liquid. Um, you don't have any problems getting something like this through TSA. Um, so if I am not taking off makeup, but I have a, a really thick mineral um, sunscreen on my face, I use a product called Albaline. You can get this um, pr pretty much anywhere. I got this at Walmart. You can definitely get this on Amazon. I'm sure you can get it at CVS and some of the other places. But um, what this is, is a uh, mineral oil based um, cleanser. And they even tell you in here, you don't actually have to like use water with this. You can just put this on and wipe it off according to their directions. Now, I don't just put it on and wipe it off and walk away. Um, but I do use this anytime I'm using a mineral based um, sunscreen or if I have a lot of heavier, thicker makeup on my face. Because if you have anything that's real thick like that or that's, that's um, like a mineral um, sunscreen, you need a like product to break it up and remove it. If you've ever tried to take something like this off your face with soap or a cleanser, you can tell it takes like three or four rounds of cleansing to get rid of it because um, it's the age old at, uh, phrases of use like to remove like. So if you're coloring your hair and you stain your skin with hair, you need a little hair color mixed in with your, your soap to get the hair or the color out of your face. Well, you need an oil-based product to break up an oil-based product. So this works really, really well. And I've used it on my arms. If I've got a really thick layer of sunscreen on or I put multiple layers, even if it's just a chemical sunscreen and I've been reapplying and reapplying and I have just a thick, thick amount of it on there, it won't come off with just soap. This works great. I will actually use a glob of this and rub it all over my arms and shoulders, on my face if necessary before I get in the shower and I just kind of let it marinate on there for about two minutes, um, it works great. And then you can wipe it off or you can cleanse it off, however you want to do it. Um, so I have what's left of the mineral-based sunscreen on here. So I'm going to actually use a little dab of this um, and I'm going to rub it in here. I guess I didn't get a whole lot right there. There's a good dab. I'm going to rub it in here. It's probably more than I need. And you can actually see it breaking up the mineral based. You can see I'm moving the white around. And I am just going to let that sit for a minute. I have some paper toweling here. And I am going to just... You can still see the white on there, and I'm just going to rub it off with this. And it lifted that mineral-based sunscreen right off my hand. Now, my hand feels like I have an oil on it. So this is the main ingredients is mineral oil. There's petrolatum in here. There's paraffin in here. There's saracen and beta carotene. That's, that's it for ingredients. So while you can leave this on your skin because there's nothing wrong with mineral oil, I don't like to leave that kind of product on my face. Um, I only want to leave like a moisturizer on my face. And uh, some people have allergies to, to paraffins. So might not be a good idea. You can certainly develop allergies to paraffins. So I, my next step is when I have that on my face and I get it off, I go into it and this is what I normally use if I'm not taking off some thick makeup or some thick um, sunscreen. I use a hydrating cleanser. This is the Walmart version of the CeraVe uh, hydrating cleanser for um, for cleansers, I, I give this like a 10 out of 10. It, this is just wonderful. This has the three ceramides in it that Walmart has for ceramides. They're ceramide and NP, ceramide AP, and ceramide EOP. And this is their dupe again for CeraVe. And 
I am a huge fan of CeraVe products. So um, this is about three quarters of the price of CeraVe. You're gonna save a couple of dollars using um, the Walmart brand. So you can't go wrong in my opinion with either using the CeraVe product or the Equate. This has been wonderful and I, I would have a hard time giving this up. I really enjoy it. So after I cleanse um, my face, I use the Albaline, I'll wipe that off. I will cleanse this. I will actually use this on my eyelids and around my eyes, the, the cleanser. Um, I'll cleanse my neck with it, around the back, underneath my hairline, on the back of my neck. I'll cleanse my ears because you should always wear sunscreen on your ears. People get sun, uh, skin cancer on their ears all the time. So I always make sure I've got some sort of sunscreen on my ears. Um, so I will use this all over along my hairline, even up into my hair a little to make sure any makeup or, or uh, moisturizer or anything that's been in there to get that all cleansed out. And um, like I said, I get all very close to the edges of my eyes, even up on my eyelids and things. And the reason why is I do not like to leave any product like this on my eyes. Um, I've developed issues. I had some real issues with um, when I wasn't cleansing after using these products, either the liquid or or the moisture or the uh, makeup remover towelettes, I was developing some real allergies to them. And it was because I wasn't really getting in there afterwards with the cleanser and getting that product off my face. So just be aware, aware of the fact that you can develop allergies over time. It's a contact allergy from using a similar product, something like this that is really not meant to be left on the skin. This is not meant to be left on the skin. And at a minimum, you should be washing it off with water. Um, but I prefer to use an actual cleanser. So um, recommend this cleanser. Um, I never had a problem with it. I don't jam it and rub it in my eyes because I'm sure it will make my eyes sting. But I do really make sure I get in there and get all, all the makeup, all the makeup remover, everything off my eyes. Um, so it's a wonderful product. And then Afterwards, I will apply, while my skin is damp, I will apply a hyaluronic acid serum. And I have actually made a, a video as to how to make your own hyaluronic acid serum for very inexpensively. I will link that below in the comment section so you can check that video out. Um, hyaluronic acid serum isn't horribly expensive. You can spend anywhere from about six or seven dollars an ounce. Um, some companies are charging 20 to 25 dollars for like two ounces but you can make your own for pennies on the dollar per ounce uh, in comparison to purchasing it so um, after i put that on um, i give it about 30 seconds to a minute to kind of absorb into my skin and then i follow up with a wonderful wonderful moisturizer and at night i use uh, the equate uh, PM moisturizing ceramide um, facial they call it facial lotion but this is again a knockoff or a dupe of CeraVe so this is actually the box that it comes in if you can see that so they even say on here compare to CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion PM ingredients and just like the CeraVe this has uh, Walmart's ceramides in it. So um, let me see if they have them listed on here. It's also got dimethicone, which is a wonderful product for really sealing and moisturizer. So um, I'm not really seeing them listed on here, but um, I, I love this so much. I'm very generous with it. I just keep applying it. Your face just feels like butter, silky smooth afterwards. I will use it all over my face. I'll use it on my eyelids. I will use it down my neck, behind my neck. Um, it really leaves your, your face so soft and it, it's so important. If you're using a hyaluronic acid serum, you must immediately follow that up with a moisturizer. I talk about it in my video where we make the hyaluronic acid serum, but um, due to the chemical nature of hyaluronic acid, you need to seal it in because it attracts moisture. And if you don't seal it in, what it will do is it will pull the moisture out of your skin, which is of course what you're not wanting. So 
I really recommend this or obviously the, the original CeraVe. Wonderful product. Again, this is going to be about 75% the cost of the CeraVe. So if you're looking to save some money, you can certainly do so with the Walmart brand. Um, there could be other brands that are dupes of CeraVe. Uh, I haven't tried them. I've been quite, quite happy with this one. I uh, was quite happy with the CeraVe, but this is a little cheaper. So um, that, is, that is my evening kind of go-to, how I remove my makeup or my sunscreen and how I moisturize and basically just give my skin what it needs um, so that it's ready to roll in the morning and it's well rested and it's moisturized for the evening. So I hope, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you can comment below. Uh, let me know what you use, what products you use in the evening. What makeup removers do you use? And um, what moisturizers or serums do you use? What do you recommend? I'd be, love to hear that. Um, I'm always looking for recommendations on products to try. Uh, there's a lot out there. Um, I do avoid fragrance. So um, that's why I don't necessarily try a lot of stuff that there's a lot out there with fragrance. So uh, I have a lot of issues with that, but um, uh, please subscribe to my channel. I appreciate every one of you and click the bell for notifications. You'll get notifications on my latest videos. So I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day and thank you so much for watching. Thank you.